Hey guys, John Man here, your deck of the month for March, and it is Moja, so let's start. First we have three Moja, he has one effect, and it does it okay like. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level four beast type monster, not level four lower or higher, so, sorry people. You can add one level four beast type monster from your hand to the graveyard, or from your graveyard to your hand. That, Flip that back. So yeah, sorry about that. Next we have one key mouse, nice little guy, tuner, and also a beast. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one level three or lower beast type monster from your deck to your hand. And he also searches out Moja and also one other guy. Two Kinkaboyu can be searched out luckily by a key mouse which you're gonna need to search for this guy or Mojo in most cases, but not always. Now, the good thing about this guy is he's a monster that can be reused over and over again by a certain effect, which is his own. And since he's a spirit monster, which means you can use him over and over again, that also means you cannot special summon this guy by whatever means. Now, when this guy is normal summon or flip face up, which is nice, you can special summon one level one or lower monster, sorry, level, one level one monster from your graveyard. And the monster special summoned by this guy is removed from the field if this guy is removed from the field as well. So if you use a monster that's special summoned by, special summoned by this guy before he disappears from the field, you're okay then. Other than that, he's a beast and he's okay. One Amethyst Cat, you search this out by Key Mouse if you want to, otherwise she can attack directly even if your opponent has monsters on their side of the field, but when she does, any damage she will have done is halved instead. So if she would inflict 2,000, it's instead 1,000, but she has 1,200, so it's usually 600. Next, one Exaber Arabellum. Just because he's a tuner, he's a beast, and has a nice effect, is if he inflicts battle damage by a direct attack to your opponent, they have to discard one card from their hand. One super nimble mega hamster. Now this guy has a flip effect, so it means if he's flipped face up by battle or just simply by you doing it, he gains the effect of you can special summon one level three or lower beast type monster from your deck in face down defense position. So it's nice because it searches out all these other guys except for King, the King of Boyu. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Next we have, of the bigger monsters, we have three Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Now if this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 400 attack points during damage set. And other than that, he has 1600 already, so imagine 400 on him, which is 2000 if you can't do the math. So really nasty to your opponent by another card, which you'll see later, why he's going to be nasty. One Crystal Beast Ameth, Amber Mammoth, my bad. When a face-up Crystal Beast monster you control is selected as an attack target, you can change its attack to this guy, which is not bad, but not the best. But he's in here just because he's 1700 attack and 1600 defense, but still, you see why. And he's also a level 4 beast like Topaz, which means that you can get this guy back with Moja. Three, Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, or wow, just confusion, wow, let me start that over. Three, Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus, complete fail there a moment ago. When this card is normal summon, flip summon, or special summon, you can add, put one Crystal Beast from your hand, deck, or graveyard from those any of those three places in your back row and treat it as a continuous spell card, which is nice because it thins the deck if you're getting it from the deck and also sets up for future plays, which you'll see soon why and how. It also has 1800 attack and is level 4 beast, so it, does, it can be taken back or brought back by Moja, I should say. 2. Beast Striker. This guy is good. Once returned, you can discard one card to special summon one Moja from your deck, which is nice because I like to do this type of play. If I open with both of these, I will ditch my Pegasus or level 4 beast in particular and then summon Moja and then if they destroy Moja while I still have that beast there in the graveyard waiting for me, I'll get it back. Or if they kill this guy and then kill Moja or whatever. But still, nice and is a beast. More than one actually. 
two King of the Beast. Now only two because three is bad, at least consistency wise. You can tribute one face up Moja. You control to special summon this card from your hand or graveyard people. Graveyard. So he's technically a zombie, but he's still a beast monster. So. And the only drawback to this guy is there's going to be one face up King of the Beast on the field. Unless negated by skill drain, then you can bring out as many as you have, which is in this case two at the moment. 2500 attack can kill Stardust. Iron Chain Dragon, whatever's in your way that's weak. But there's a few ways to make this guy scarier than what he looks like. I mean, look at that. Is that scary? <laughs> Final monster, Green Bamboo and Defender of the Forest. When a B side monster you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points to special summon this guy from your graveyard or hand. Which is not bad if they don't like your King of the Beast and they start by Smashing Ground Dark Horror or Black Rose Dragon. Let's get this guy. Make him give him another threat. So now into the spells we have Gold Sarcophagus, thin the deck down, get a card you need to put it in your movement play zone and wait for two turns. One creature swap. Now this will allow you to swap out your Moja and take their burger monster, attack into the Moja you just gave them, and get a beast monster back from your graveyard. And that's what you call a two for two. So Next we have two Crystal Promise. If you have Crystal Beast in your back, we're waiting for you to bring it back. This is your card. Because you can select one Crystal Beast in your Spell Trap card zone and special summon it. So just when your opponent thinks they got rid of your Topaz Tiger, nah, I doubt it. Because you get Crystal Promise. Next we have three Solidarity. If you have only one original printed type of monster in your graveyard, Face of monsters of the same type you control will gain 800 attack. So, and then you play three of these, that is 2400 attack. So, just imagine your Topaz Tiger having a minimum, let's just say, of 2400 with this card on the field, and then when he attacks, he's 28, which means he can attack over Stardust with no problem. Foolish Burial, set up your Solidarity play, or set up a um, King of the Beast play, you know, send your Moja to the graveyard, send your King of the Beast to the graveyard, or just Green Bamboo. Book of Moon, why not? Still good. Monster Reborn, this should be obvious. Dark Call, Giant Tunade for your field clearers, or we need to go for game. Two, Mystical Space Typhoon, great card, you know why. Now for your small, minimal trap lineup. One, seven, two is the Bandit. When your opponent thinks they don't want to see the King anymore, they try Song Morning, or just go boom, chain it, spend a thousand, it's gone. Or to any trap card actually, because this does not say specifically Psalm Warning. But it does in a way say Psalm Warning because you're right. That's pretty much what it does. <laughs> Next, two Chris or Geki. If you know what a Geki break does, drop it and play this card instead. Why? It's because you can send one Crystal Beast from your Spawn Trap card zone to the graveyard. Then, destroy one card your opponent controls. Now, this is nice because if they think they got rid of the Crystal Beast, if you put it in your back row, you can just take revenge on the monster that just, that just destroyed it, and now you kind of broke even if you're opponent. Next one, Compulsory Evacuation Device for those nasty synchros that get in your way. Bombless Trap Pole, just one. If you want, you can take out the Compulsory, put it in a second, but this is just my tech for the deck. Yeah. Or if you want, play two sound warnings. But yeah, so one bottomless chapel, just because some of those bigger monsters are not very nice to you. And if you don't like a lot of the monsters that your opponent plays, like samurais, you can uh, do it all at once. And since this does your monsters as well, it also allows you to special summon your own green bamboo. So it's very nice. Now, I am running tuners, so it does mean I actually am running synchros. But not always. Don't take that always for granted. Uh, now I'm missing two other guys, but here is one of the three that I would like to have shown you. Uh, this is a beast monster, Synchro, by the way. It requires one beast type tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. Now that's actually okay. Decent effect, but there's two other buddies of his. One's called Voltic Bicorn, and the other is Lightning Tricorn. And they all have decent effects. This guy can reduce one of your opponent's monsters, attack by 500 for each monster you control, including this guy, except for you cannot attack with the other monsters that you can use this effect. So it's like Shura, or not Shura, uh, Sirocco. And then, 
opponent's deck back when he uses destroyed by opponent's card effect or battle. It sends the top seven cards from both players' deck to the graveyard, and Lightning Tricorn allows you to revive any one of these first two from the graveyard if destroyed. So that's pretty much it, guys. The deck is fun, kind of messy for your opponent, and just fun to play with. So that's pretty much it, guys, and peace out.